Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a leg ladder tie. I personally love this tie, it's really simple to learn. So what you first wanna do is take the bite of your rope and put it around your big toe like this. Now once you've done that, you wanna do a right angle on the outside of your leg because we want it to go up the outside of our leg, not the inside. You're gonna take the running end of your rope, go underneath, and now go over. Make sure your rope's flat. And now what I want to do is now that I'm over it, I want to take the running end of my rope underneath. So see how we're over? Lay it down. Now we're going to go under and you're just going to pull it through. If it gets tangled, that's okay. It happens. Just pull through. Okay, and now you wanna take the opportunity because you're gonna have some slack here. You wanna adjust to how you'd like it, how tight you want it. Don't do it too tight. Get it on the outside right there so you have a good start to it. All right, now I want to go back on the outside and I want to do another right angle. I'm gonna take the running end of my rope and do it about the length you want apart. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over. I'm going to go over like this. Can you guys see that? Okay. Over like that, and then I'm gonna go under with the running end and just pull through. Okay. And now you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's the length of part you want it and at the angle you want it. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep doing this up the leg. Usually I would do this with my uh, 35 foot rope, but I'm treating it right now. So it's unavailable. So I'm actually using my 24 foot rope. So I'm not gonna be able to go all the way up my leg like I usually like to, if you guys have seen from my pictures, but that's okay, we'll go as far as we can go. Another right angle. Okay, take the running end over. A lot of this is just lifting it over your leg and then we're gonna go under again. Got a little knot that'll untangle, there we go. Okay, and you wanna go ahead and check midway through, make sure they're all the length apart you would like. You could have them closer together, you can have them farther together. I'm sorry, closer together or farther apart, I mean. Um, it's pretty much whatever you think looks best. So now we're gonna do another right angle. And this is a little tricky. So you don't want to do one directly over your knee because you wanna be able to bend your knee and use it. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna do one right before the knee. So you wanna do a right angle. Take the running end like we've been doing, over, under, pull through, tighten. So it's right there and you're gonna, it's gonna look like you wanna start back over here. But remember there's gonna be a big space here so you're gonna pretty much right there. Just start again. So you're gonna go over, like we have been under, there we go, okay, perfect. And then you can always adjust. Don't think that when you have it down, you can't move it around, tighten it, because you can. There we go. So that's how you want it to look over the knee, just like that, okay? So now we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, except now we're gonna be on our thigh. And so you wanna keep in mind, you want to use a rope that is similar to your height. So if you're very short, you can use a 24 foot rope and that should do the job. If you're about 5'4 like me, then you can use a 34, 35 foot rope. If you're taller, you can use all the way up to 50 foot. It really just depends on your height and you can experiment with your ropes to see what looks best. But I personally 
with my 35 foot rope. It goes all the way up here and that's how I like it, but I won't be able to do that today because I'm only working with my 24 foot rope. So we're gonna do another, I think I have enough room, another right angle right here. We're gonna go around, we're gonna go over and under like we have been. And even though we're on the thigh, we want to do it about the same length apart as we were doing it lower down. So it all looks even. If it's not perfect, that's okay. You can adjust when you're done. And like I said, I would usually keep going up my thigh, but unfortunately I'm treating my 35 foot rope, so we don't have enough room to keep going. What I would usually do, go to the top, and then I do a little bunny ear up here, just like how you would tie your shoes. It looks good on the side of the leg like this. But since we can't do that, I'll show you how to go ahead and start taking this apart. So you don't wanna just move it down your leg because then you're gonna um, have some issues when you want to coil your rope later. It's gonna be all knotted and messy. So what you wanna go ahead and do to avoid that problem is you want to go ahead and take it off like this. Just start going down. And it's pretty fast, pretty simple. It's a good time to do when you're on your own because you know you're not gonna get stuck in it but always have your safety scissors with you. And then just keep going down like that. And that's how you do it, guys.